What's going on everybody? Back with another one. Doreen Collective is the channel. My name is Winthor. And I wasn't gonna do this video. Honestly, I literally just got back from jujitsu. I was gonna just the plan was to do some editing, get everything ready for a couple of uploads that's already in the pipeline and that's it. But um you know the universe this universe is so crazy. The universe is gonna give it to you and give you what you need to know or hear whether you like it or not and the universe hit me again and made me realize a few things today number one i gotta be stop being selfish and i said it before and i have to say it again it's not even about me and all this time i was being very very selfish it's always been about me 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 through these last couple of months especially me 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 this is what i'm going through me 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 no one's hit me up no one shows me love all i'm being selfish and how did i how did i get to this point right now and what happened I'm not gonna, and i'm gonna keep everyone's name out of it out of respect because it's crazy so a friend of mine i consider him my brother he just told me his mom got cancer and that, I'm trying not to curse on this channel, like I said, but I was like, damn. You know what I mean? Like, damn, man. Like, cause I know, I know, I know what's about to happen emotionally, physically, meant, I know what is about to happen. And the fact that he pulled me over and told me like, and, and confided in me and wanted to tell me it, it showed me like, all right, cut cut the BS. You need to be, it's not about me. It's not about me because him confiding in me, him reaching out to me, he's like, look, bud, I know you went through this and I'm going to need some support on this and I'm coming to you. And yeah, and I got to be on point and give him that support. Like people, when I first got the news and I lost it, there were people there, there was people there who gave me that support and I'll be indebted to them for life. And they were selfless in their acts. They dropped everything that they were doing and came to my aid when I was going through it, still going through it. And I have to be there and I have to be that person for him. And the fact that he, we were in class and he told me, we were in class and he told me, so that already showed me like, look, I need to talk to you like now. And immediately I knew it, it put me back to when I first got the news, you know? And I was just like, okay, I, I know the changes you're about to go through. And yeah, you're gonna need somebody there. You know, I know he has his family. I know he has, you know, relatives and things like that. I had family, I had relatives, it didn't even matter. It didn't even matter. You know, I know what he's going to be dealing with. I know what he's going to go through. And I got to be selfless in my acts to be there for him and be supportive. Just like people were there for me. Just like a buddy of mine, David Smith, you know, selflessly reached out to me and said, hey, man, whenever you need anything, just let me know. Because he went through something similar. Shout out to him. That's my bro. That, you know, he reached out to me selflessly several times and made it clear. Hey, man. If you need something, I'm here because he knew the feelings that I'm going through. He knows the changes. He knows. He knows how it changes you. He knows what it does to you. It completely changes you whether you, you think you're in control or not. And I know it's about to change my friend, my brother. I know what's about to happen to him. I know what he's going to be going through. And I the same way... David was there for me in that situation because he went through that situation. I got to be there for him because I've been in that situation and I know what's going to come. I know the things that are going to come and it's going to get crazy. You know, and it's going to get crazy. It took me back when I first got the news. It took me back when I first got the news. And you go through this roller coaster denial hate disbelief i can go on and on and on and on blame 
everything under the sun you start going through it you start replaying you just go through so many different things and that's just the beginning and then it just keeps on compiling 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 and yes you can try to talk to people and yes that can you know ease it at times but it's a different story when you speak to someone who's gone through the same exact thing and they know oh this is what's gonna start happening. Hey, oh, I lost my brother. It's, I know what you're gonna go through at this this particular time. Hey, you need to start getting certain things in order. You know, hey, people are gonna get shysty with you. Hey, people are gonna come out of, no, out of the woodwork, out of nowhere, asking for things and claiming things and, and thinking they're entitled to things. And it, it was true. It was all true. All those things happened. And I got to brace him and just and just be there selflessly. So that's why I said it's not about me. I have to drop my selfishness because it's not even about me. Listen, I'm living in this hell. I'm getting accustomed to this pain. I wake up with the pain every day. It's been over a year with this pain every day that I wake up with it and every day that's how my morning starts and you have to wake up do your meditation do your affirmations get your mind together because you got to go out there and produce and, and, and be that man to make it happen and to figure it out because once you go out that door unfortunately the majority of people they don't care what, what happened you know it's it's old news or the people who don't even know what happened they just want to get what they need to get done i still got to go to work i still got to make it happen i got to still have the smiles you know i have to have this facade and make sure i make it happen and produce so i'm already in it i'm already living in it i'm already figuring it out he just got the news broken to him and he doesn't know what to do he doesn't know what to think, how to think, and rightfully so, because I, I didn't either. I didn't know what to think. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to feel. And these feelings that I were having, I was just like, this is crazy. This can't be it. This is fake. They're going to come back with the reports and saying, no, we made a mistake and blah, 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 blah. So I have to, it came to me like, okay, me, 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 no. I got to selflessly and and continue to move like the person that I probably was looking for at that time for this individual. And that's why, like I said, I do these videos and I'm going to continue to do these videos. It shaped this channel into these type of videos. I didn't want to start doing these videos initially. I didn't want to start doing these videos. This was a tech channel. But the universe had other plans. The universe had other plans for this channel, for me and what needs to go on and what needs to transpire. And I have to accept the call. So I have to move selflessly. I have to move in a certain way. I have to be that person that I wanted and inspired and, and was looking for at that time and at other times in my life because someone else is going to come and go through a similar situation and I can't falter and I got to be on point like tonight like tonight he didn't have to tell me he didn't have to say anything really he could have kept it to himself He was like, this is what's going on right now. And I was like, I got you. Whatever you need. Because there were there people there for me and did the same thing selflessly. And I got to do the same thing. And I do it for when I do these videos. And I do it for you guys, whoever's watching out there. Whoever can receive a jewel or a gem out of this. That's what it's all about. We don't care about views and whatever. If it happens, it, it, it I don't care. At the end of the day, if it reaches one person, 
a thousand, ten thousand, I'm still going to be doing the same work, the same intensity, the same focus, and the same inspiration, regardless. <sighs> I wanted to share that with you guys. Like I said, I didn't even want to do this video tonight, but and this was off the. Usually, I have like bullet points on things that this was just the cameras running. I need to get this out. I couldn't even help it. It's probably why I was going so crazy in jujitsu tonight. We were going wild because I got that news, and it it took me, it took me back to that first time, that first day when I got the news, and a lot of memories. And I get and I understand, and I know that pain. I know that pain when it was just so fresh. And you're just like, how am I going to get through this? And it changes you. For the bad or for the good, I don't know. I can't answer that question. I don't know what it changed me into. I'm still trying to figure that question out a lot of times. But it changes you, changes perspective, it changes attitude. It's just your outlook is different. How you approach things is different. You don't care about a lot of a lot of things that was bothering you and you know getting on your nerves, this and that. You realize how small it is. You realize how small we are. You realize how small I am. This doesn't matter. I'll be all right. It's not about me. I'll be fine. I know how I get down. I know if I need to take it there, I can take it there. But it's about moving in a selfless way and moving in a certain way that it could help other people. And that's all I got.